I do not have the adjectives or the antibiotics for this next um, performer, so I'm just going to bring him to the stage. Put your hands together for Steve Steppy. Yes! Yes! Are we ready to get this fucking party started? Yeah. Yes, sir! Oh, shit. <laughs> oh. If you're feeling fine in a 309, say, whoa! Whoa! There you go. Uh, my name's SteveSteppy.com. Um, I've been compared, not necessarily like uh, Billy did, but more or less like salvia, the smoking salvia, because I'm only up here about five minutes, but it feels like a half hour, and when it's over with, you'll go, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> um, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of not really with it today. Um, over the past week, my inner <coughs> voice suddenly just, all of a sudden it's, it's started to happen a list. And it's driving me nuts. I can't stop it. Alright, yeah. All right. you want the serious jokes. Here, here's the funniest fucking joke in the world. Alright. You're going to get the full effect of this. Okay, this burro walks into a 7-Eleven, okay? And he walks over to the cooler. And what he does is he picks out a rock star energy drink. He brings it over to the counter, <coughs> sets it down, the cashier, cashier uh, rings it up, and he goes, ah, oh, shit. I left my money in my other khakis. <laughs> See, you get a... <laughs> That's kind of funny right there, but th the thing is, most burros... <laughs> How am I supposed to tell jokes when people are making noise? <laughs> um, most burros... Well, I got five minutes. Most, most burros only don't have any pants, and this one had two pairs. Okay. You see Obama on the news a couple of weeks ago. He was talking about the jobs initiative and all that stuff. He's one to talk about it. He's got two jobs. Uh, first of all, he's the president of the United States. Second of all, he does commercials for all state. <laughs> and the reason this country has gone to hell, if you notice, I think the recession was, what, like 2008, something like that. That's about the same time hover rounds started coming on TV and it said that Medicare will pay for that thing for free or at little cost to you. And I think that's what the problem is. It's like all those octogenarians or whatever you call them riding around on their free scooters. And I got a piece of shit car. Did anybody here go see Stassi Cassie? Woo! Did anybody know who Stassi Cassie is? <laughs> she is a two foot seven inch stripper. She was at Elliot's. <laughs> <laughs> now, I don't know how to look at that because it would be look like looking at like a two-year-old kid going up and down the pole, grinding it and stuff like that. But if she had hair, it'd be okay. But if she had different 
well, maybe she followed some of Holly's um, techniques and had less hair, it would really be disgusting. <laughs> Sassy Cassie, two foot seven, stripper. Yeah. All right, this is for the men. How many men here, when they were young and were in the bathtub, you know how the water kind of came up to about here, and your belly looked kind of like an island, and you'd bring boats, and you'd, you'd play, you know, and you'd have little people, weebelows, and they're not weebelows, those are Cub Scouts. <laughs> But I always pretended uh, my penis was a fallen over palm tree. <laughs> uh, I had some advice for some men. Um, if you're going to date somebody, please get to know the woman that you're dating. Um, it's very important. Um, you shouldn't just jump in the sack with anybody. Um, my thought is that if you're going to get a blowjob, please, please, please make sure that that woman is not bulimic. It burns like hell. Um, if you do, make sure you wear pants and leave the zipper open and, um, the stomach acid will absorb by most of the fabric and um, it's kind of a good kind of warm and uh, the zippers feel like an extra set of teeth. <laughs> Here I'll show you something. Thank you.